everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is helena sanch from nairobi kenya here in africa and today i woke up and i decided i'm going to start my youtube channel i've been wanting to do this for some time but i've just been thinking and thinking i wake up and i'm like mm, what will my family say what will my friends say but it's something that i've wanted to do for the last like uh, let's say one year and today I woke up and I decided this is it. Today is the day. I am going to start something. I do not have a niche yet. I will be vlogging about everything and anything. And before I show you what I have for today, kindly subscribe, comment, share, and hit that like button. Please take your phone, take your brother's phone, your sister's phone. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll be giving you vlogs they will be raw and uncut like everyday life like you know the real life that we have here in africa precisely in kenya so thank you so much don't go away stay with me i have something for today i've not decided yet what to do because it was raining in the morning so i had to wait for the sun to come out so as to get a good quality but not to worry I have something for you guys so stay tuned so today i've decided to do some chapatis uh, this is the process this is the flour i've put together the brown flour and the white flour and this is the pumpkin boiled it first and then i blended it so i will put a bit of sugar and a bit of salt and then i'm going to mix together and then i'm going to show you the final product stay with me so this is part of the process you spread using a rolling pin here is my rolling pin after you spread like that then you take the oil just a bit not too much you just spread like that you can use a spoon or you can use a brush a small brush a kitchen brush yeah you just brush it on top like that you brush it on top like that and then you roll it and then you mix some kind of a ball like a ball i'll show you i'll show you let me just finish spreading you spread it like that don't put too much i think i put too much for me but well it's okay the oil the oil helps in making the chapati soft you know like soft 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 so after you spread like that then you roll it i'll show you just give me a sec like that so after brushing the oil on it, I made something like a stripe or rather a strip like that. And then I'm going to roll it, make something like a, a small ball, something like that, something like that. So I'll be making several of them like this. And once I'm done, I'll, let, I'll show you the final product. And uh, yes, <laughs> that's how chapatis are done. Oh, that's how I do my chapatis. Stay with me. Stay tuned. So guys, I'm done preparing or I'm done with applying the oil. This is how it looks like. So I'm going to leave it for like 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to cover it with a clean cloth. I leave it there for some time to rest. And then I'll be back now to make the final product, which is chapati and ready for eating. Stay tuned. So this is how we cook. This is our pan, as you can see. And then you have to keep rolling like that. Like that, so that it, it can evenly cook. Yeah, like that, like that. Oh, it's hot. So this is our final product. This is how it looks like. And you have to keep rolling, yeah, so that it can cook evenly. Like that, like that, like that. Like that yes yes guys mm -hmm. you see guys it's not that difficult the difficult part is preparing the flour the unga yeah that's how it looks like yeah ready to eat
so let me know what you call this where you come from so since i grew up in the farm we used to call them rabbits but here here in nairobi they call them bunnies look at that look at that guys look at that look 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 this is beautiful we used to eat them when i was little when i was growing up but these days they are kept as pets people no longer eat them people no longer find them as meat so yeah I'm here at my sister's place and this is where I found these bunnies or as we used to call them when we were young rabbits yeah yeah 